In 2023, Kajima constructed the GEAR in Singapore, which combines three functions. Kajima's Asian headquarters, an R&D center, and an open innovation hub. The GEAR. The GEAR was planned and designed with the aim of strengthening Kajima's Southeast Asian regional headquarters and promoting collaboration between the business and technical R&D departments. From the planning and design stages, numerous dialogues were conducted with the Singaporean government. After undergoing evaluation by the Economic Development Board in terms of contributing to the country's economy, creating employment opportunities, making direct investments and contributing to industrial development through technological advancements, the land was acquired. In the development, techniques cultivated in Japan were incorporated in all processes, including design, construction and maintenance management. It aims to embody and provide the advanced construction technology and facility operation know-how possessed by the Kajima Group to the growing personnel, companies, investors and governments in the Asia-Pacific region. In the construction of the GEAR, IDD is being implemented under the leadership of the Singaporean government to enhance project productivity. In addition to 3D drawing data, they are integrating digital data for processes and costs on their proprietary state-of-the-art 5D platform, enabling centralized management of information required for construction from design to execution. Various cutting-edge digital technologies have also been utilized for construction management. Construction began with earthwork. Measures were taken against marine clay, which is very soft ground that poses challenges for reclamation in Singapore. Soil surveys and ground improvement works were conducted to build a stable foundation. In the structural construction phase, various robot technologies have been introduced. One of them is the rebar tying robot, which autonomously travels along rails, detects the intersections using sensors and performs the tying operations. For the concrete pouring operations, a concrete finishing robot capable of performing finishing tasks automatically has been introduced. It can adjust parameters such as travel speed, turning speed and trowel rotation speed to match the construction conditions. It enables round-the-clock operations and contributes to efficiency, labour savings and shortened construction timelines. In June 2022, we held a topping out ceremony. The ceremony was broadcast online, allowing people in Japan to view the event. Various robots continue to be utilized in the construction, including the layout robot for marking reference lines and the materials carrying robot. Experiments such as rooftop greening have also been conducted on the site to optimize for the local climate. Plants that are resilient to the local weather conditions have been selected for planting. The gear was completed in March 2023 and the opening ceremony was held in August. Various environmentally conscious technologies have been introduced into the gear. In designing the building's surroundings, we are using the world's first carbon-negative concrete, which absorbs more CO2 in its production process than it emits as part of the paving materials. On the rooftop, we have installed the EcoCool Garden, a rooftop greening technology that stores rainwater beneath the solar panels for reuse and helps to mitigate the heat island effect, responding to the local environmental challenges. In the semi-outdoor spaces, ceiling fans have been installed to regulate airflow. Additionally, planters have been placed to reduce ambient temperature through evaporation from the plants. By adjusting airflow, such as creating air movement in the atrium, energy efficiency and comfort are achieved simultaneously. Each floor optimizes indoor temperature efficiently through underfloor air conditioning. As well as cooling through radiation, a radiant panel air conditioning system promotes natural convection. It minimizes power consumption using long-lasting LED lighting with light guide plates that do not generate heat. 
In this way, various cutting-edge environmental technologies are incorporated throughout the building. Furthermore, we prioritise comfort and creativity as essential aspects of the workspace. We have fully equipped the space with open-plan communication areas that enhance productivity. The building is also utilised as a testbed office for experimenting, verifying and demonstrating while it is in actual use. R&D of office spaces that enhance productivity by pursuing user comfort such as well-being are also being conducted. We have established a co-works lab with other companies to demonstrate the effects that semi-outdoor spaces and equipment have on the workforce. Solo work booths have also been installed that can be optimised for each person in terms of lighting, air and sound. In addition, a comfortable cooling sensation can also be experienced through the artificial outdoor mist. The gear is where new possibilities become reality and create the future. As the regional headquarters in Asia, this location is home to employees from a total of six group companies. As an R&D centre, we have established five cutting-edge research labs. The Construction Robotics Lab, which promotes the development of next-generation construction methods. The Digital Tech Lab, aimed at realising smart cities and smart buildings. The Environmental and Engineering Lab, which conducts greening research that capitalises on local characteristics. The Human-Centric Design Lab, which studies the impact of indoor and outdoor environments on user behaviour. The Urban Space Creation Lab, which develops material technologies and sensing technologies for constructing cities. As an open innovation hub, we use the entire building as a demonstration site, collaborating with partners such as startups and universities to promote open innovation activities. With these functions as the backbone, we will change Asia as a whole, and the entire world, and even the future, through the exchange of talent and technology between Japan and Asia. Kajima's leap forward is now beginning in Singapore.